Shima Gariba. I was born and raised in Accra, Ghana, currently living in Toronto, Canada. I'm an animator and an illustrator. I've always been interested in visual arts. I mean, our family has always been very visual. Being around that and my brothers and sisters that were always like sketching something. But I feel like just being in that environment fueled my creativity. I just want to produce just visual storylines. I feel like my work focuses on storytelling. I have a hard time making beautiful things for the sake of beauty. I feel like that only lasts for so long. I've noticed that the things that I hold on to are the things that have story. Like my fondest memories are build-ups from stories that manifest themselves visually, not so much just a visual on its own. But yeah, I feel like story is just the basis for, for most things that I do. When I'm drawing, I think about, I think about stories. What inspires a lot of my drawings is music because it's the fastest way. In three minutes and 30 seconds, someone can tell me a whole story that can break my heart. Music that usually has a storyline or has like a really visual sense. I listen to a lot of Gil Scott Heron, a lot of Frank Ocean, a lot of Adele. Because when I listen to this kind of music, I see images so easily. Like they paint such vivid images. It just, it makes my job a lot easier to draw from an emotion of a song. Thinking about people I love, thinking about people I hate, thinking about people I miss, depending on what piece I'm doing is gonna influence that piece in one way or another. I had the opportunity to go to LA to Tip Mouse Animation Studios and work for my internship in my third year of college. One of my longtime heroes, Deshaun Thomas, just happened to be working there in the summer. I was fortunate enough to be working on the show that he was working on. I got to meet him and my mind was blown by the amount of talented artists that were on that production and on every other production. They were all just very open and they were all just very, they were just very generous with their knowledge. That was definitely another moment that skyrocketed just the way I thought about things. Like I've learned, even outside of art, I've learned so much from just their careers. It excites me to know that they're still learning as I'm learning you'll never be satisfied. It sounds masochistic right now, but it's exciting to me that I will probably never be satisfied, and for that reason, I will probably keep drawing. It's what drives me to hope that one day someone somewhere sees my work and says, damn it, I wish I did that, and inspire them to get to this point, because that's exactly what happened with me.